Hello and greetings to to everyone in our St. Mary Parish family and our local community and, and, and an extended greeting to anyone who may be watching these from a greater distance to anyone accessing our recordings of daily masses or other communications from our parish. Uh, my prayers and best wishes to each and all of you today. Throughout my many years as a priest I've had many occasions to post notices on church doors for a variety of things, for sudden changes in schedules or events and things that needed a, a notice. But I would have to admit that this past week when the word came that there would be a suspension of all daily and Sunday Masses along with all other activities that it was probably the hardest note I've ever had to post on a church door. But I do so with incomplete support of our bishop and the decisions that have been made I know that in the public discourse there's a lot of discussion about what steps should or need to be taken and I don't intend to visit that discussion here but rather just to pray that we can go forth with a good spirit out of a great love of God or respect for each other and, and simply doing our best for this process. But I look forward very soon to the day that those notices will come down and the word can go out that all is returning back to normal, and I trust that that will be soon, and we pray for that. My purpose today, just briefly, is just to update you on a few things, some things I'm sure many of you already know. Certainly, if you're watching this on YouTube, you already are aware of, of some of these things, but perhaps I can also share this information and have you pass it on to others. So, again, as you know, at this point, all of our regular schedules, including school and CRE and daily and Sunday Masses, are suspended and again, limit, we are limiting rather access to buildings for only for essential purposes, again, to keep the buildings clean and to provide a safe environment when a few individuals do need to come and go throughout the uh, days ahead. Because of Mass not being able to be offered publicly, as you again may already know, I have been taping daily Masses on with just a very small group present, mostly the liturgical ministers that are, are helpful at Mass, and then placing them on there and I, on YouTube, and I will continue to do so, including the weekend Mass, and try to post them in a timely way for everyone. And I encourage you to not only access them as individuals or as a family, but perhaps especially on the weekend, sit down together as a family. You certainly are aware also of the Bishop's Mass that is broadcast on Kelloland. I believe it is also live streamed on Saturdays. You might check the diocesan website for more information on that. And as well as other religious resources that I know are available on the web. I know Bishop Barron's Word on Fireside, for example, is also put, has daily Masses available. So please tap into those resources. Uh, when I do Mass in church without all of you there, it is uh, it is hard but I'm grateful for those who can come and help just for these few weeks here or whatever time frame we'll be dealing with and I'll make this available. These kind of uh, talks will not be every day, I just will do them as, as needed and in ways to communicate things with you. A few things to note in regard to this YouTube communications, if you know of someone, uh, perhaps an older person or doesn't necessarily have to be that, but someone that might need an assistant finding where these are, if they do have an electronic device that will receive them, certainly it's a good thing to give them a hand, if you will. It might be something that's appreciated. One of the things that I will maintain on the schedule at this point are Saturday confessions, and I will make a decision later in regard to the special times for Holy Week. And of course that is the question on so many people's minds, including my own is the status of Holy Week and Easter, and that remains to be decided. The bishop has communicated that that will be decided upon as we get closer to that. During these days, the church building will be open in the normal hours that it is open. You are welcome to come in and pray. Just simply maintain good practices and the distancing that we need, but we don't need to be distant from the Lord. Just have to honor the safe distance from each other so that we can keep each other healthy as well as, as ourselves. 
Again, if you need more information on this, I'd encourage you to check your email, check the information from the bishop and his ongoing uh, communications. The parish bulletin is being produced and will be each week. We have sent some copies out to the nursing home and assisted living, and then others are being placed in the church lobby. The bulletin, as always, is posted on the parish website, so you can always access it there and uh, would encourage you to, to do so. And if you wish, of course, you can print it out at home if you'd like a printed copy. That always remains an option that you have. Those are the main things on schedules at this point. Um, we will keep you posted. Again, a final thought. This weekend in the scriptures on this third Sunday of the Lenten season, the responsorial psalm is that most familiar and beautiful psalm, the 23rd psalm, the Lord is my shepherd. And the refrain that we're so familiar with is that even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. It can kind of feel these days like we're walking in a dark valley. When things like this come up, it, it is challenging. But I do pray that all of us can know that Shepherd is still there with us. He hasn't abandoned us at all in these things. And, and I'm learning too as I deal with my own anxieties and even fears about this that I think God calls us away from fear. And and the scriptures remind us that true love casts out fear, and if we can rest in the love of God and know that that hasn't gone away, that that can help us to set aside fear. Fear, as I think we all know, can paralyze us, but what is needed in these days is not fear or panic, but, but a spirit of, I think, healthy caution, uh, safe practice, and just mutual care for ourselves and for, for everyone around us. So I pray for that. I pray for wherever you find yourself on this as we deal with this, that God will give you a calm heart and spirit. As I believe I mentioned last weekend when we were still together at Mass, that while we do take all due concern for our physical health, take care of your heart and soul as well. Once we take care of the whole person who we are, I think all will come together in a good way. Again, thank you for checking in on this. I will, as I said, either make announcements at the masses that I'm taping. If there's something needs to be announced more immediately, I will try to use this form of communication from time to time and just post these brief announcement videos on the internet, on the YouTube channel, so that you can see them. Also, please check the parish webpage, especially for any other announcements or for any updates on things. We will also, as we have this past week, use the other means we have available to us of the communication uh, setup that is through the school and also through our CRE program. That is how we have communicated some of these things this last week via email, and we will continue to use those means to do so. Thank you. God bless, and take care. We look forward to doing these communications again face-to-face -face very soon. God bless.